Welcome back to Pal World. Today I'm going to take on the tutorial boss. How come you're already so outfitted? What level are you now? Did you even sleep? I grinded and explored lots of areas, gathered lots of pals, and made my home base more home-like. Which translates to no, he did not sleep. Whatever, this game's got me by the balls. Every minute I step away from Pal World, the more I want to return and do more shit. Oh my god, you really are addicted to this. You went from Unga Bunga to the Second Amendment real fucking quick. Let's see how this goes. For an early access title, this is super cinematic. And here we introduce the main waifu of this game, Zoe. It don't matter how old she is, I definitely would. And here come the Pokemon fans crying that she looks like Marnie from Sword and Shield. I think her little keychain gave away what pal she has. It's a fat yellow Zangoose. Whatever it is, I bet it'll put up some of a challenge, even if I did some grinding. I won't even use a pal, bring it on. Yeah. Fuck, thought I could cheese it like that. My god, the health bar just plummeted. Okay, maybe I should have come here way sooner. That's what happens when you do shit off camera. She's only the tutorial boss, so I'm expecting you'll face people at your level that'll put up a good challenge. There'll be one that will put Donald on his ass for sure. Until then, let's see what other shit I can find to fill the space. Yeah, that's not a smart move, you little shit. Ooh, boy. How do I aim these fucking missiles? Eventually, he'll kill you, but slowly. Gotcha, you little fuck. <laughs> He's already dead. Well, this might tank the frame rate, but here goes nothing. Dear God, I'd be terrified. You just killed everything and everyone here. I hope the captured pal is fine. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure it survived like a trooper it is. After seeing fucking Blitzkrieg 2.0 on the camp, I bet it would feel like a trooper for living through it. Kinda looks like what's going on in the Middle East right now. There you go, free at last. <gasps> you just captured a human. Yes, and? Surprise, the PIDF don't come and chase you for doing that. No, because he just whipped pal spheres at them and make them into his own personal humanoid army. Precisely. Merchants out here, don't mind if I do. I'm assuming the blue one sells other stuff like, ah, uh, okay, pal. So the black market guy we met that also sold and bought pals was doing it illegally, but this is okay. Morals are fucked around here. Nothing beats pure greedy capitalism, especially if the government can get away with it. How exactly are you able to capture pals without fail? Is your capture rate super high? Here's the dilemma I'm facing. I am so powerful that if I fought them the proper way before throwing a pal sphere, I'm likely to end up fucking killing them. So in order to avoid said dilemma, I have a mod on which allows me to capture pals at 100%. Cheating? Probably. Do I care? Not really. Do I care? Obviously not if you had to ask that twice. I found another tower after walking for so long. Let's hope whoever this is will make me actually think during the battle. I hope this is the one that teaches you a lesson about grinding too much and making everything too easy. I don't know about that one. It may be beefier, but probably won't be good enough to put him down. Wait, I have that spear, and it's called Lily Spear. Is this Lily? I don't know. I kind of like that Zoe girl more. Hold up. This one looks more young and fresh than Zoe. I take it back. One, just one. Video, can we go without Joe being an absolute freak? I would wish that over anything, but then he'd be boring, so it's a necessary evil. Even her pal is pretty cute. Makes Gardevoir look stale in comparison. If she's part of the Free Pal Alliance, then why does she have a pal of her own? Don't they want pals to be free? Don't think about it too much. Can't be much of a boss fight if you go mano a mano with her without a pal. I'll try on my own first and it doesn't do much, fuck. Yeah. I'll summon a pal for security reasons. All you had was a boar? Could have used the Barney ripoff. She'll just take the bait of the bitch, although I think she prefers to have her sights on me. I'll use this big guy I found in the volcano area Fire versus grass, this should be easy. Surprised Don had to actually think about what to use during a boss fight. I wonder if they will all force him to do some thinking. After that Zoe fight, I don't know what to expect anymore. This one's definitely more of a challenge to kill, but it'll only get harder from here. Wow, if I could claim this as my base, I'd be super happy and thankful. It's heavily detailed as well as having a good defense for the wall. Not surprised that the first thing you notice about this place is their walls. You're all about them walls. Unfortunately, I don't think you can claim pre-made places like this. It'd be cool, but you can't. Looks like a PIDF safe haven. Seems chill, albeit in the middle of the desert. It's even better on the inside. Fuck me. 
If I find a functioning mod on Nexus that allows me to claim places like this without the fucking restriction, I'd make this my own place in a heartbeat. I might as well buy a pal I don't have. I feel a strong urge to compare this to what my race went through over a couple hundred years ago. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna try and catch it. I heard talk of a pal named Lavender and how we'll feel when we find one. Well, when we do, it'll probably stand out for sure. Uh, let me try and aim from here. Wah. Fuck, that missed. Let's try again. Yeah. Fuck sakes, I might as well go down there and make it easier on myself. I found a neat exploit. Falling while mounting your pal doesn't give you or your pal fall damage. That's a fucking lavender. Wow, what are the fucking odds? Run away before it tries to breed with you. They like to breed at night. And you would know this. Mm. How? Don't ask me how I do, and especially don't ask me about my search history. I don't know why it's glitched on this yeah. rock face, but I'm gonna capture it and it'll be mine. I can let it breed with my other pals. It'll probably only want you. Did you know that it's entry number 69? Coincidence? I think not! I don't know what I just pissed off, but I hear battle music and I'm fighting fucking dodo birds. Fuck me, these fuckers won't stay extinct. At the rate you're going with that shotgun, they'll wish they went back to being extinct. Didn't we try to revive the species in a lab? We did, and it's giving me massive Jurassic Park vibes. I think this is that Marcus guy these soldiers love to worship. I talked to the locals at that shelter and they all praise Marcus like he's their god. Well, let's see how much of a god he is when I put a buckshot shell in his stomach. He seems like a nice on the outside, but really evil kind of guy. Definitely has skeletons in his multitude of closets. <laughs> and he's rich. I hate the rich. A Tekken 8 reference already? Damn, you're fast, Joe. Oh fuck, he has a bird. Don't tell me he's going to fly around forcing me to chase his ass. Well, let's find out. Don't use your boar here. She'd likely be lunch for this thing. Boar can be pretty tasty when smoked. I'm gonna try what I did with Lily and bring out Blazamud again. Doubt he'll do too much, but if he can inflict good damage against Marcus, it'll be GG. Wow, I do little to no damage, basically. I'm fucked. Is he broken or something? He's just hovering in midair as you shoot shot after shot into him. He's just in awe that I would use a boss pal like Blazamut against him as a boss. Just chalk it up to being a life-saving glitch in this case. He remembered how to fight. Okay, now's the time to focus now that his little brain fart or whatever is gone. Maybe you should have brought in an electric or water pal instead of Blazamut. Who's a fire pal? Nobody did say Donald thought everything through. That got me through the fucking pillar. That is absolute cheating bullshit and you know it. Wait, it's an electric as well? Which is it, electric or fire? I'd say both. Why are you summoning a grass pal? He'll be roasted. The idea is that if Marcus can focus on Robin Quill, I can go in and inflict critical shots and take him down. Smart thinking. Although with Robin Quill using a fire attack other than anything else just seems kind of stupid. I never said the pal AI is smart. The devs are going to improve it later on, but so far it did the trick. And I can go in and take down Marcus. It all worked well in the end. I think that's all I have for today. Had to extend it somehow after how fast the Zoe fight was. Seems legit. See y'all later.